their um, business, but I just saw a six hundred dollar um, tattooed per cabinet card, and that seemed like massively expensive to me. But maybe I'm just totally out of the loop. I know that flash, original flash, and tattoo stuff is hot and only getting hotter. But that seemed a little bit optimistic. Hey. Oh my gosh, we're live. Hey, everybody out there. It's Sunday Sesh with the Book Tribe and um, trying to find Forrest, see if he's out there. Forrest, are you in there? Hello. See, that's him. He's not there. I'm going to wait till he comes back. And um, it's kind of okay because nobody's watching right now. You can see if there's any eyeballs here and there isn't. So it's really just a slow, easy greeting. Um, I'm working on some stuff on my desk right now. I'm puttering around. That's basically what I do 24 hours a day, seven days a week is sit at my desk and decide what to catalog next and then push to the side if it seems too hard and decide to catalog something else. That's pretty much it. I think that maybe Forrest, um, who was going to hop in the seat next to me here, I think he lost his feed or lost his um, internet possibly. So might not have a two-person show at the moment. We may have a one-person show. So, oh, I see a box and I see a forest. Hey, hey. Hey, I just reconnected. I, I heard cool. you. Oh, cool. You're I got a little you. nervous because I was like, yeah. man, I don't have anything to talk about. So I'm not sure how long I can do this. I'm going to hit the big red button. It's like the gong show. There's always this big red button called end broadcast. And you just like, how long do I wait? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so can we talk about what's happening in real time right now? Let's talk. <laughs> did you hear what I was saying about the... I did. It Is that a little bit optimistic, do you think? 600 for a tattooed cabinet card? Yeah. Yeah. Okay open. So I, as you know, I've been buying photographs kind of wildly. Uh, I can't resist them. If they're the right oh. price. And eventually I'll have enough that I can a thousand looking yes. at them. Can you hear me? Yeah, totally. Okay. You're, you're breaking up. Oh, okay. It's just the, it's just the interface. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it's even usually yeah, that's okay, the yeah. internet. It might just be, you know, it's a lot of uh, yeah. code to compress yeah. both of our videos and have it flow through this format, but it's a beautiful thing. I love BeLive. A shout out to BeLive.tv, which is the place you can go to set up your own one of these things. You can set it up to just answer questions, which is a one person screen, or you can do a Q and A, which is what we're doing, which is two screens. And the next step that you can graduate to, because it's only in beta at the moment, oh, and I am not too. beta, is, yeah, talk show, talk show format, which is the coolest yeah. cool. Because then you can bring in any number of people. You can rotate them in and out and have, I think, three or four people on screen at the same time, and other people wait in the green room. And that makes it really, really, really fun. And so oh. whenever I get that, I'll be really excited because then it'll be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So um we're doing this like half an hour earlier than yesterday, so I see a little more light out where you are. Oh don't even it's cloudy today. It was cloudy yesterday. Oh uh, really? Oh uh, today was warm here. Um but I was inside most of the day. Uh, I went outside to I do this thing called earthing or grounding where I just put my feet on the hot grass. Uh -huh. And I try to do like 20 minutes a day of that to balance my energies. I just totally outed myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I do no that. We have, we have we, the, the bear shits on the grass sometimes. Out back, we have grass where the bear shits. But whatever. <laughs> Total New England. A podcast and generate, yeah. No, we, right? we, we've got all sorts of stuff here. Oh, I, love, yeah, I love seeing New Englanders' backyards. They're all like, and there's my pool, and there's the deer, and there's the wild turkey, and there's the bear poo, and there's, you know, the patch of snow, because last night it decided to dust with snow. 
Yes, that's New England. You know? Here, here are the re- oh, I'm sorry, I have to say. Here are the remains of my hosta because the deer were here last night. Never mind. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that, that's got to be, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. We have a new dog. Her name is Chloe. Oh. We've had her for, I think, four or five weeks only. And she is not a puppy. She's a year old. We adopted her from the Humane Society. But she is a bit of a digger. And so she might be kind of deer-like out there, kind of goat-like. Yeah, deer. Um, deer awesome. so I'm not sure. Deer don't dig. Deer just chew. Right. Yeah. And I always think they're really cute when I'm, you know, when I would um, fly into HPN, driving into like old Greenwich at night, I would often see them, you know, see the little pairs of eyeballs glowing and I'd get really excited. And, you know, whoever was driving would just be like, it, it's deer. What do you, deer. why are you, you know, deer. But it's not a funny cartoon. down here we have a lot of, we have more cows. Cows are our deer. And I don't know what it is, but everybody must do this. Cause I know I did. And my family did. You, when you see cows, you just shout out cows. cows. Oh, we do that. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's a place on the Mass Pike between Worcester and Springfield where there's, there's like this cow barn off to the right. And when you're westbound on the Mass Pike and you, you pass this field, you look over to the right and shout out cows. <laughs> okay. Funny. So, wow. We've got to do a little assessment to see. Maybe someone will comment if that is a national thing. I know that it's my family did it from the Midwest or the West Coast. That'd be interesting to to hear about, you know. So, did you catalog anything interesting today? I catalog nothing today. Oh, okay. I'm such well, a, I can't I, talk about that. <laughs> I have been lately realizing that um, like on Monday, I I realize, oh my gosh, I have like moved a lot of things around, but maybe not dug in and catalog. I've been cataloging really kind of non-consequential things, but it's just the act of actually, you know, digging through the pile, digging through the backlog. So I, 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 I opened every package in my to be opened pile. There were like 16 packages piled up in the living room, although I after when I have two from you, I have not opened yet. Oh, cool! <laughs> Yay! It was like two feet tall. What the hell is that? The big one. That's yeah. the um. That is the Mad Men. Actually, it's earlier than Mad Men. That's the nineteen twenty uh plates. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. I, I will have to open that tomorrow. I um. Okay, so did you open anything that's like really exciting? I guess a bunch of stuff, but there were like 16 or 18 of them, and I don't even remember them at this point. <laughs> it was all just a blur. All just as a blur. All um, a blur. Yeah. I, I was, um, the game on today was this original a script, and it was, it's not that old, but it's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's odd. I don't usually see things like this. It's, it's in a really, really tiny hand, very readable, but tricky for my eyes that apparently I need bifocals or reading glasses or something, but 1908. And of course I tried to make out the playwright to see if they had any notoriety. It's set in London. So it's definitely a British piece or somebody dreaming of England. But um, I, I was, I know what we need to sell things and what is interesting to people because here I was looking for licentiousness in the text. So oh, I'm scanning oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't just want, you know, so I see one page and it's, he's talking about champagne. I'm like, Oh, what next? What next? And then I, there's a priest involved and a beer maker and a musician. So it could get good. Oh my God. Yeah. It's 52 pages of original manuscript. Um, play it's really kind of cool 1908 late late victorian you can call it just in the nick of victorian huh a priest of your maker exactly it's really really cool um i mean it's a it's tiny hand so 52 pages is a play and um it's called the hypocrite a play in three acts and they list the dramatis persona on the first page they may have been a student. It might have been a student's, you know, thing. But it's a lot of, it's a lot of text. It's kind of fun. 
like thoughts on these people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, God knows what this was wrote about from race and race. But I am one to go down the rabbit hole and read every page like I well, yeah. do with letters to just see if there's anything juicy in there. I was really hoping for some kind of, um, oh, I did get to a page where the musician and Mimi are saying we can't carry on like this. It's wrong. Oh I know. Isn't Whoa. It? Yeah. Woo. Okay, Jim says, never did the cow thing up the whole thing because it's a long thing it's awesome thank you jim never did the cow thing and hearing about it has convinced me never to buy a cow no matter how reasonably placed because cars <laughs> would slow down and yell cow at my place it would make me feel and probably the cow too self-conscious <laughs> I, I i'm now going to feel guilty whenever i look over and yell cow i know maybe um, may, i'm Hello. I'm not sure what. <laughs> Never did. And Jim is in. I know Jim. You're. I think Jim's in the Midwest. I think he might be in well, Michigan. Yeah. I think Jim's in Michigan. So that's the Midwest not doing the cow thing. So that maybe it's an Eastern up. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we have like we have the, the three county fair up here in Northampton, and we've got a crap load of cows there's a lot of cows all over new england well yeah i mean you've got amazing amazing dairy products detroit suburbs he says oh, okay. detroit i said yeah that was there yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what they mean they do it car 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 now here's here's frying okay. yeah there there's frying there's frying i see frying's tail tail That's so true. what are you going to catalog <laughs> tomorrow at wag your tail like that. Um, I've got a pile here. We're supposed to have a catalog coming out Tuesday. I've got a 20th century catalog coming out Tuesday. And half Ooh. of it is not cataloged yet. Oh, you bet. yeah, exactly. It's like I've got 20th century, um, like, stuff. like stuff. It's stuff. I've got like atomic. Um, see that? Oh, cool. Like early, like mid century stuff. That's fun. That is so visual. I've got, um, should be showing this. We've got, this is about, um, lights. This is about, uh, like, like. Ooh, I like that. That's yeah. great. Awesome. Yeah, that's a nice typeface. Like that neon. Yeah, neon, neon lights. Yeah, it's it's exactly. That it had neon lights. And we've got this. This I really like. This is very cool. Um, Oh, that's nice. 39 basketball. 39, like, that's very cool. And this is cool. Let's see. Oh, that reminds me. I was very tempted by something today that I saw for sale. It was, um, and it just, I, it, the condition was wanting. It was creased. And I just said, oh, oh but it got me thinking. Yeah. It was, um, it was a cowgirl um, songstress from Iowa. And it got me thinking about doing like that, that whole genre of like cowgirl, um, cowgirl singers in the forties. It was like country yeah, Andrews sisters, exactly. I guess. And I thought, why don't I, why don't I go down that road and try that? Sure. That's a great, so, great. Well, they had great hair and great makeup, but they had their little cowboy boots with their little skirts. Yeah, and okay. when I saw her, the girl who was pictured in this, she did a lot of really big things and did like USO shows and stuff. And when, when I saw her in her later years, it reminded me of my grandmother because my grandmother in her like 60s and 70s went towards wearing like her fun clothes were kind of cow cowgirl inspired. She always had something with pearl button button down and jeans and boots. That's, yeah. what you, you know, but um, so I could let's see. William Wickoff says. Can't quite figure out the app. Oh, OK. William. A couple of things is you have to be, you can't be on an, your phone. It has to be on the desktop. I, or I think you might be able to see, watch it from iOS or Android, but not necessarily participate on screen. Hmm. But I know that if you are on your desktop, you have to be entering it through Chrome. And if you click the link, you're, you, since you're commenting, you're in the right place. Um, because there's two seats here. And until I get that talk show format, Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hashtag, please. Yeah, please. I talk to people. Um, 
you're I think that William actually is he did figure it out. You, oh, mon frere, mon frere, you did figure it out. You're yeah. super duper in the right place. Okay. William, I have been watching him dot across the country and do biblio pilgrimage and do oh. um that's a Jonathan Kearns term. I just think I just copped it. But I um a biblio tour and I think I saw him him up at Garrett's. I think he must have been through Michigan in Ann Arbor. And he's been dotting all around the country and buying fun things and now starting to share what they are, like a great Angela Davis poster the year after she I saw, I saw that, that across on Facebook today. Yeah. That yes. was awesome. But William, it's so funny. Everywhere I go through the house, I have stacks and stashes and in suitcases and in bags of business cards from the last like 10 years of my life that I have meant to put in a beautiful database of contents. And I, I'm working yeah. on that. But I found a William Wickoff business card. And I think based on the pile that it was in, this is pile archaeology. I'm pretty sure, yes, he, he, did, um, he did see Garrett. The link doesn't work. But you're here, so yeah, I yeah. think it did work. Oh, maybe he means that. I'm yeah. not sure. Maybe. maybe oh, oh, maybe only I'm one person can yeah. click on the link. It's only uh, because there's only two of us. Safe, safe. Right. Eventually, that link will be like more of a actual all access thing. But have William, uh, I found his business card. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he can comment that it's um, California. Pretty sure I remember meeting some dude who was like, oh, I do ephemera and I have his business card. Everybody who we mention in the show, what I've been doing, and it took just a few minutes this morning, was so fun. There's two links, he says. Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah, I have put it more than one place. Maybe I messed that up. I'm trying, I'm gonna link to everyone's business page or Facebook page at the very least and tag them because I feel like everybody, you know, I like to just bring everybody into the conversation and maybe somebody hears that their name mentioned and then they follow the way to their website. Oh, one for the app. Okay, right. And one for the Facebook. You don't need the app yet, I don't think. You can just click on the link for the Facebook situation. The app will let you create your own uh, show. I might have done it wrong. William. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know, but, and it was the, that's right. He says he bets it was the San Francisco, the Nancy Johnson book fair. Do you mean at the concourse, the paper show? Like, like that was a bunch of years ago. If you're talking about the Brennan street concourse, that was a, that it could have been that one. Cause I think, and then, oh, um, was she still doing the one that moved to the, like on the wharf? Like that was a couple years later. But, um, but yeah, so he's been yeah. Bill Wink. Oh, meaning you would prefer to be Bill? Ah, oh, okay. That would be <laughs> Bill, William Wink. I've got to go and cook asparagus for dinner. Okay. Because we have. Well, oh, okay. I should probably do that too. We said that this would just be a little quick little visit. And, um, what I'm going to do is when you say goodbye, if anybody wants to try, Bill, you want to try one of those links and see if it lets you jump in? But of yeah, course, yeah. we'll talk soon. It yes. was great to see you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye. Peace. Bye. Okay. So that's an experiment. And oh, Bill says 2015. That wasn't that long ago. Oh, okay. So that was the, well, then it wasn't um, right. I wasn't the Nancy Johnson show anymore. Then that was, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't done the shadow show since it was at the Brennan Street Concourse and then at the Place on the Water the year after that. Um, I've done only the one when it moved over to Oakland. I think we met in either Oakland or Pasadena, right? Anybody want to jump in through that link? If not, I'm going to say goodbye and go cook some tofu and... Um, or something. No, something legitimate. I also might cook. Um, it, oh, right. If you have an Android, Bill, it apparently does work on Android, but not on iOS yet. It is better on, yes, it was ABA Oakland. Um, that it was, exactly. And that's exactly right. 
But yeah, I am a card. Those who give out cards, I keep them. They are absolutely little gems of, of many things, graphical and print and expressive history. So I love, I love them and I keep them. I do not pitch them ever. I also tell people don't write on your own business card because if someone's going to keep it forever, you want it to just be like clean and beautiful. And um, next time, Bill, if you are in front of the desktop, um, come on the show, pop on and say hi. But later, we'll see everybody a little bit later. Bye. We're still live. That's kind of funny. You have to click the end button twice. I learned that you can't start talking about people or, you know, scratching something until you actually hit this last end live broadcast button right now.